What's going on, YouTubers? I'm gonna make a top 10 one four scale statues. So I'm gonna do some honorable mentions first. So first honorable mention, I would, let's just say, put this at number 15, is the Sideshow Deadpool Premium Format figure. Uh, this for me is just a phenomenal concept and design. The explosion base is just absolutely amazing. The way they did the explosion, the translucent effects, it just looks amazing. And then Deadpool is a super dynamic pose. Great, great sculpt. I believe this was by Will Harbottle, who's a phenomenal sculptor for Sideshow. You know, the grenade being sliced in half, the fire effect out of the gun, and you can actually see the bullet, and then dodging the rocket. The exclusive is amazing. For me, I just absolutely love this statue. It does not get enough love. I see it selling for less than what it's worth, and it just I'm just like, seriously, that's one of the coolest statues. So for me, this is an honorable mention, or let's just say number 15. Second honorable mention, or we'll say just number 14, HMO Dante. Now this is an absolutely phenomenal statue. I think it's limited to like 300 or something, but the base has like five or six different killed characters from the first game. He's stepping on the head of one, and the body of another. You got orbs that are like a translucent effect. They like glow sort of. There's tons of arms and everything. And then Dante is just dynamic. The way his cape flows, he has switch out parts. Phenomenal detail. The statue just looks amazing. Super heavy, very detailed, great paint job. Just all around an amazing statue. So this is an honorable mention, we'll say number 14. Number 13 has to be the Prime One Hunter. This is a newer statue in my collection, but I absolutely love it. The entire theme, the bloodiness, the detail, it's just so incredible. Such an amazing statue. So this definitely gets an honorable mention. We'll say this is statue number 13. Number 12 goes right next to it. Geralt of Rivia by Prime One Studios. Absolutely love this base. This giant severed head of a monster he killed. The under base with his logo and real chain. Geralt looks amazing. Incredible detail. The translucent resin looks amazing. Absolutely love this statue. Honorable mention. Number 12. Number 11, honorable mention, Kratos 1 4th Scale by Aaron A. Perez. This is a custom statue limited to 30. It's absolutely phenomenal. The detail is unreal. The blood effect. I love the dynamic pose. The base is great. Huge, incredibly detailed, just absolutely amazing. Honorable mention number 11. Alrighty, now we're going to the top 10. So at number 10, I'm gonna have to give it to Exceed Dragon Fist. This is one statue where from the moment I saw its concept to delivery, I was just beyond excited, happy, and just so honored to have this in my collection. The design is just phenomenal. The way you have this beautiful underbase with these clouds and resin effect, and then Goku lunging on one foot, doing this dynamic dragon fist pose directly from the movie to kill the enemy, you know, just like that poster, it's from that movie. And then you have this massive, super legit dragon. There's light up effect, incredible detail. And this statue introduced skin and clothing texture to the Dragon Ball Z world. No, it was not KD Collectibles. It was Exceed Dragon Fist that introduced texturing to the DBZ world. Absolutely amazing statue. By far one of my favorites and number 10 on my top 10 favorite statues in one four scale. On to number nine. Number nine has to be the Sauron Premium Format Figure by Sideshow Collectibles. This is my tallest 1-4 scale statue. It stands at 36 inches tall. The height alone does not give this a top 10 status, you know, because I have Dark Side here, and he's not in my top 10, even though he's 32 inches tall. Amazing, not top 10. Sauron gets it due to a few reasons. One, this base. This is an absolutely freaking amazing base. You have one, two, three skulls, tons of armor, shields, swords, axes, all over this incredible base. 
just absolutely amazing. I love the concept. He's stepping on the skull of one of his enemies. He has this super powerful pose with that giant staff coming out. And then the way they designed this with the mixed media cape incorporated and the effects of the armor, it's absolutely mind blowing. Like look at that helmet, the weathering. Granted, this does have a custom paint job, but this really is a phenomenal statue. He's wearing his ring. I just love the pose, the concept, the size, everything about it. It is just absolutely amazing. And number nine on my list of top 10. Number eight is actually another Lord of the Rings and that's the Berserker. This guy is just mind blowingly cool. I got him, uh, I bought him, I didn't know much about him. I just saw one picture, it's like, holy shit, that's awesome. Bought it, when I opened it up, I was like, holy cow, this is a grail. This thing is just absolutely amazing. The skin texture is really freaking good. The blood and paint job, the hands, the arrows all throughout me is like four different arrows. Mixed media loincloth, great base. This sword is metal, huge, super detailed with blood. And it's, you know, like you see the battle damage in it, just massive sword. And the coolest part is the severed head. I love the way he's like, he has his mouth open, the pose. And this severed head is just way too cool. So the whole concept, paint, sculpt, everything about this, absolute grill, love it. Number eight on my top 10 list. Number seven has to be, granted this is not the XM, but the XM Ghost Rider for me. So Ghost Rider, one fourth, absolutely amazing statue from the concept of the fire, how they did not do translucent resin, but they did a painted resin, but it turned out extremely well. I love all the skulls on the base the rocks, the way how it's like leaned back. He has that really sick looking face with the fires in the eyes. The design of the bike itself just looks phenomenal. I love how there's this skull here, all the detail and the paint job. It looks like a real leather jacket. Just an absolute amazing statue and XM's best statue still to my, in my opinion. So this comes in number seven. Number six has to be Fizzin Duratin 1-4 scale statue. This thing is unbelievably amazing. It stands at 39 inches tall to the top of that axe. It's the size of a typical human 1-3 scale statue. But it's not just the size that makes this amazing. It's the actual detail. The detail in the base. How it looks like a real rock you'd see from outside. And these skulls and bones all throughout and then all the use of the different mixed media. You got real fur, real hair, real leather. Just looks so realistic. I mean, look at the braids on his hair. And this sick looking skull. And then that skin texture, even the nipple, and the face. It has one of the best painted faces I've seen. Like that tongue looks like a real tongue. The eyes are really detailed and the hair looks amazing. The ax is huge and awesome. Just a phenomenal statue. This gets number six on my top 10. Number five is Iron Studios 1-4 Skill Thanos. This is a statue I have loved since day one, still love it. The entire design of this statue is just phenomenal. I love the base, how it has the infinity stones as an underbase on each side. And then this is the scene where he actually collected the you know, gauntlet. So he's in Wakanda. He has this rocky grass type base with Captain's shield on it. Looks awesome, I love the base, super cool. And then I love this pose, it's an action pose. He's lunging forward, using his Infinity Gauntlet. And the detail and the texturing, Iron Studios has some of the best texture work on their statues. You know, it just looks super realistic. And then the face sculpt is just a knockout of the park, 10 out of 10, no doubt. The eyes, the teeth veins the gauntlet looks amazing so this for me is number five let's get to number four number four has to be sideshows thanos on thrones we got two thanoses in a row sideshows thanos on throne is one of the best statues sideshows ever produced the entire concept of the throne itself the paint job the whole design with these skulls and how it you know, all this detail, just insane detail. And on the back, 
It's a shame you can't see the back, but the back has so much detail. I love how he's crushing this portion of the chair. And then he's like a little bit sitting forward. He has his finger out. You can either see this as come fight me or he just did a snap. So you can really view it in any different way. But I love the pose of Thanos, how he's not just sitting back relaxed. He's ready for action. He's ready to fight. The design of Thanos himself is just amazing. Best comic Thanos, easy. Love the texture detail on his costume, the gold. Very, very cool statue. Just absolute grail. Best comic Thanos ever. So this is number four on my top 10 list. Number three, back to Dragon Ball Z, Tsume Vegeta. This is the best Dragon Ball Z statue ever produced until I get my Tsume Broly. But anyone who owns this will know just how amazing this is. You got this really sleek underbase, black underbase with the Dragon Ball Z and actual like Dragon Ball there. And the whole design of how the sand effect with the wind, it like almost combines into each other and it feels like real sand, I swear. You got this beautiful aura and it just flows extremely well. Very well thought out design. And then Vegeta himself is just unbelievable. The textures and the paint job is just the best. I love how they painted like yellow parts on it to really indicate, you know, he's powered up to Super Saiyan. Even like the fingers, the bicep. Love the face sculpt, so well done. The hair, the energy effects, these like electricity effects are the best on any DBZ statue. They never fall out, they look amazing. In addition, it has a absolutely phenomenal light up system and sound system where you, when you turn it on, it has a synchronized sound with light up. You know, and this goes on and there's multiple modes. You know, and there's the Dragon Fist light up. But the light up with the sound and the detail in the bass just for me make this one of the best statues ever made and number three on my list. Alrighty, now we get to number two. And check this out. That's right, folks. We are not looking at Sideshow's Man of Steel, garbage statue. We're looking at The Mummy by Dream Figures. This is a statue that's just blown me away to this day. Every time I look at it, I'm just like, holy crap, that's amazing. The entire base, it's the best base of a one four scale statue. This and like Tsume Vegeta. But there's just so much going on. I love the skulls, the rope, the Egyptian theme. You got these pillars with, with Egyptian writing. The mummy tomb with mummy writing, scratches inside. The base really just sets this apart. There's so much freaking epicness going on on this. You got scarabs and beetles. You got these two little like mummy cases right here. And then the mummy himself is just absolutely amazingly cool. The detail and the paint job just blows my mind. So this for me is an absolute grail and the best one fourth uh, unlicensed custom statue ever made. Now we're getting to the number one one four scale statue. And this one is licensed. Make your guesses, everyone. Let's get to it. Alrighty, folks, so it's in this room. Which one is number one? That's right, folks. I made it the first statue I freaking see. Damn Toys Golden. This is a statue that, when I opened it and set this up, it just blew my freaking mind. It was one of the coolest statues I've ever seen. So let me just show you this face sculpt with the glowing eyes, real hair. He has so much epicness going on. They have like 600 different versions of these on there. Each one is different. He has tons of these amazingly detailed, heavy skulls all throughout. This just the best mixed media I've seen on a statue. I love his pose, how he's holding his hand like that, holding this massive staff with tons of skulls all throughout. And they're all different skulls. Like, look at that. That's just so freaking cool. And the armor texture, look at that, the bones coming out. And then the back part, look at that. So freaking cool. You got all these different skulls coming out of them. 
so much detail. It's absolutely mind blowing. You have this giant skull and everything in front. The skin texture is just phenomenal. And when it's lit up, it just blows my mind. One of my favorite statues. And for me, this is the best one fourth scale statue ever made. So let me know your opinion. Which one would you put at number one amongst my massive, you know, 200 plus statue collection? Uh, but for me, really damn toys gold and just, oh, this thing is unreal. You just have to see it in person. It stands 31 inches tall and the detail, there's no other statue out there, you know, besides like Duraton maybe, that have this level of detail in a one four scale statue. Only like my half scales and life size bust can compare to the detail of this. Every other statue in my collection can't compare. I got a lot of detailed stuff, but this one, and Duraton are the top two, but he is slightly more detailed and just slightly higher quality and just better design. The base looks like a real rock I'd see outside with skulls. I got this metal plaque. And that's one reason I decided when I enter this room, I wanna see one of my favorite statues. This is it, Gold and Dan Toys. So that's my top 10 with my additional five, so really top 15, one, four scale statues. Let me know your thoughts, like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.